There are many kinds of insurance exist in our country, such as life insurance, motor insurance, fire insurance, and property insurance. Our topic for today is the property insurance, which also known as mortgage assurance. There are two types of most commonly known mortgage assurance: MLTA and MLTA. Let's look at MLTA first. MLTA stands for Mortgage Reducing Term Assurance. The main goal of this mortgage assurance is to protect your property in order for you to be able to pay your home loan. The protection level of MLTA is not maintained during the premium. The sum insured will reduce according to the loan tenure. And once the sum insured reaches the end, the assurance won't protect your property anymore. Some of the mortgage assurance is transferable to a second property or to be transferred to a newly bought property. However, in MLTA case, you cannot transfer your assurance to the second property. It can only protect one property. In terms of cash value, MLTA is holding zero cash value. The payment of MLTA is one-time premium, which means you only have to pay once for the assurance. The beneficiary of this assurance is bank. The assurance will pay the loan to the bank if any unfortunate circumstance befell to the borrower, which leads us to the final part of this assurance, which in question. What if the borrower has passed away or is permanently disabled? Should this happen, the assurance will pay the home loan according to the sum insured borrower has left. As for the property, it will belongs to borrower's family. Now we've covered the basic of MLTA. Let's look at the other types of assurance MLTA. MLTA stands for Mortgage Leveling Term Assurance. MLTA has the same goal as MLTA, which is to protect your property. However, MLTA also serves as a saving. The protection level of MLTA will stay consistent over time. The sum insured will remain the same based on the fixed level of sum assured basis. As for transferability, you can transfer the same MLTA policy to another home loan. Thus, there is no need to show the proof of borrower's age. As for the cash value, MLTA does have some cash value prepared for borrower, and it is fixed. As for the payment, it has to be done periodically, which means the installment can be done based on borrower's preference, either monthly, annually, or semi-annually, as long as the premium is still available. The beneficiary of MLTA is bank and borrower's family member, and just like MLTA, what would happen if the borrower has passed away or is permanently disabled? Should the predicament arise, the assurance will pay the loan to the bank, and the property will belongs to the borrower family with a large sum of insured cash, which MLTA has provided. Now we have covered the basic properties of MLTA and MLTA. Even with this difference, both assurance are aimed to protect your property. We hope that you have learned something about MLTA and MLTA by watching this video. Sigue y...